Okay. Okay, so we're, get, we're going to talk about um, using anchor selection, particularly for using direct belay. So um, if we take this rock here, um, how do we assess that it's any good? Well, first off, we start off by looking at it and we can see that it's well um, grounded into the ground. It's well jammed underneath. So it's looking pretty good. It's also big. Uh, basically, I've been told that um, about if you made out of rock, so you in a fetal position made out of rock, weighs about a ton and a half. So this is a good heavy lump of rock to start with. And then we look at it, we touch it, and we tap it and we can feel and we can hear that it sounds solid. It's not rattling, it's not moving, it's nice and solid. It's sort of got a dull sound to it. And then the other thing we need to do is just look around the back and make sure there's no sharp edges and, uh, and that also it's a, got a good shape so that whatever we put on it, a sling or if we put the rope on it, it's not going to slide off it. So the ways that we could use this anchor direct are uh, just very straightforwardly using the rope. That would be the quickest and in some ways the easiest. Now, <clears throat> if, uh, and then that would be your anchor there. So your, uh, this would be your load rope here. So the climber would come on this end of the rope here. Um, and, uh, and then you just take in like this, pull in, pull in, yep, like that. So that would be the simplest way to use that direct. Now, th that's fine as long as the, rope, the rock hasn't got any sharp edges and um, as long as the rope doesn't jam uh, into a crack or whatever. So, but when it's got a little bit sharp edges or if it jams, uh, then uh, that doesn't work very well. So then uh, you've got a couple of other ways of doing it. You can tie direct onto the block using the rope. So I'll show you that. Uh, lay the rope round and then uh, you can either tie a re-threaded overhand or you can tie, tie a bowling. This is a different way of tying a bowling here. So I'll show you this. Uh, make a, a hole there, put it through. And then pull, tuck, tuck that through there, and then pull that this rope that way and this rope the opposite way. And you can turn, see there, and that turns into a bowling. Okay, so shall I show, I'll just show you that again. No, okay. Uh, and then uh, obviously you can put a stopper knot in there as well. So there's, there's a bowling. Um, and then we can just centralize that there and now we could just use a carabiner either further away if we want to stand further away we can tie an overhand loop and uh, just tidy that up uh, we can tie an overhand loop like that or we can uh, clip it straight into the loop over there. So then if our climber is going to be coming up over here, we tie a Munta hitch or a Italian hitch, do the crab up and you'll notice here that I've got a big carabiner, an HMS carabiner. And then we can just pull that through like that, pull it through, and that naturally creates a, a good amount of friction and a very steady amount of friction, particularly if we were to lower people off using that block, the amount of friction around the rock would be variable, whereas the amount of friction around this carabiner is going to be uh, very even and the same all the time. So if somebody was being lowered off, it would go like that. There we go. Okay, so that's that's uh, using the rope in a crab. Uh, the other way we can do it is if we've got the right size sling. So uh, this is a, a 
240 sling so it's quite a long one uh, it's always worth putting the sewn bit of the sling out the back out the way because for some reason it always ends up in the wrong place else uh, and then we could stand down here and uh, that's the climber down there got our Italian hitch in so I'll show you that again there and then just do that up and then it will flip through like that 